Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to part 2 of my tutorial on spawning in units using the Armour Free Editor. This time we're going to look at giving the group we spawned in last time waypoints. We have our marker called My Group Start, and as per last time, that is where our group is going to start at. We also have our trigger still from last time. What we're going to do this time is just move this marker a little bit further down the map. And we're going to create two more markers. The first marker I'm going to call WP1, and I'm going to press OK. The second marker I'm going to call WP2, and I'm going to press OK again. You could name these markers anything you want. All they are going to do is serve as a location for us to create a waypoint for our group. The next thing we're going to do is look at our trigger. And we have the same code in as last time. Now everything I'm going to talk about today we could do inside this on activation field in our trigger. However, as you can see, it's pretty hard to read. And for that reason, it becomes pretty hard to edit. So we're going to write everything else externally. And we're going to call it into the editor. That's not as hard as it sounds, and I'm going to walk you through every single step. So the first thing I'm going to do is press Control c and I'm going to save that code to our clipboard. I'm then going to delete the code from the trigger, and in its place I'm going to write null equals exc vm, and then I'm going to write in some quotation marks my script dot sqf. I'm going to close the quotation marks, and I'm going to put a semicolon at the end. And that's it. What we've done there by writing that is we're saying when this trigger is fired, execute a script called myscript.sqf. Before we alt tab out, we're going to do one last thing, and that's going to be saving the mission. And I'm going to call this mission a YouTube mission. And then we're going to hit OK. So let's just remind ourselves of the situation one last time before we leave. Hopefully, when we walk into this trigger here, we're going to execute a script that spawns units at my group start. Our units are then going to move to waypoint 1, and they're going to move to waypoint 2. I'm going to alt tab out the game. I'll see you on my desktop. And what we're going to do now that we're on our desktop is we're going to find a program called Notepad. Notepad comes with Windows when you install it, and can be found by pressing Start. All programs, accessories, and then you're going to go to Notepad here. All it is is a uh, text document creator, so you could write an essay in here if you wanted to. What we are going to do is paste our code from last time into this file. It should be familiar to you. If it's not, I suggest you go back and watch the previous video. What we want to do is add waypoints to it. So I'm going to look at another BIS wiki, and this time it's the BIS wiki about add waypoint. The command is add waypoint. There's a little bit of a description here about it. And at the bottom again, there's an example. What I'm going to do is copy and paste this example into Notepad. And we're just going to look at what it does. So the first part of it says underscore WP1, and that's simply the name we're going to give to the waypoint. I'm going to change that to WP1 for this example. And you can call it anything you want, but I like to give things simple names. WP1 equals, and the next part says group. And that's referring to the group name that we've given the group we spawned in. In the example, it just says GRP. We've called our group my group. So I'm going to change that to my group. My group add waypoint. And the last part of this is the position you'd like the waypoint to be. And I'm going to replace the example code with get marker pause open quotations, WP1. And that's in reference to the markers we placed on the map earlier. The last thing I'm going to do is place a semicolon at the end of that line. 
We, of course, want two waypoints, so I'm going to copy that line. And I'm going to paste it below. And what we're quickly going to do is edit the relevant parts. So, WP1 is going to be called WP2 now. My group, because we're still trying to move the same group. And we're going to change the marker name to Waypoint2. And again, that's the same name as the marker we placed in the editor earlier. So that's it, we've done it. We've built a script that's going to spawn a group called my group, and then my group's going to move to waypoint one, and then it's going to move to waypoint two. What we're going to do now is save this file. The standard file format that Notepad saves things to is .txt, and that creates text files. We're going to delete that, and we're going to write my script. .sqf, and sqf is the file format we're going to use for our script. And we're going to press save, and we're going to close notepad down. Now, we'll see on our desktop that my script appears, and you might notice that your icon's slightly different to mine, and that's because I'm running notepad++. And that has file extensions that recognize SQF files. It's just the same as your file, however. Don't worry about the icon. Yours will look something like one of these text document icons over here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our mission file. Now, what we're going to do is go into documents. We're going to go into one of these two files, armor free or armor free other profiles. If you only have one player profile in armor and you're working with that, you want to click armor free. I however am having two profiles for now and I'm working with my second profile in this video. So I'm going to click armor two other profiles. After that, I'm going to click on the profile name I'm using and I'm going to click on missions. In there, we'll see a YouTube mission.stratus and that's the mission we saved earlier. You'll find there's one file in there already and that contains the information about the units you've placed on the map. All we're simply going to do is drag myscript.sqf into this file and that's it, we're done. We're ready to test the mission now. Now that we're back in the game, uh, we're going to press preview and this is the fun part. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, so we're back in the game, and as per last time, we're just going to run forward until we trigger the trigger. That's a beautiful hat you've given me. Look at that. <laughs> I love the accessories in Armour Free. So we'll keep running forward, and we've triggered the trigger, and we can see off in the distance there a group has spawned. Now, what I'm going to do is increase time to make them come towards us faster. The waypoint they're going to, if we remember, is somewhere behind me, I think. And I'm going to make them run. Here we go. Excellent. Now they've reached waypoint 1. They're going to start heading towards waypoint 2, and I'll just follow them over there. Once they reach waypoint 2, they're going to stop. And... That's it, that's cool. We've created a script, and we started somewhere down the end of the runway over there. We've moved to waypoint 1, which is somewhere near that bush over there. And we've come here, and we've stopped. What we're going to do now is look at giving more advanced waypoints. So I'm going to exit out of this preview. And what we're going to do is place a unit on the map, and we're going to look at giving him waypoints. So... If I just place a unit on the map normally and press F4 and try to give it waypoints, you'll see there's a lot of options here. Um, there's different types of waypoint. There's different combat modes. There's different formations. There's different speeds. And there's different behaviors. All these things we can do in the script. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So once again, we're going to exit out of the game, and we're going to look at our script once more. So once again, we're going to open up our mission file. My documents, 
a few other profiles, my profile name, missions, a YouTube mission, and in there we can see we've got my script.sqf. And we're going to open it up. Now for the rest of these videos we're going to be using Notepad++. And I'll just spend a minute showing you how to get that if you want it. You can carry on using the standard Notepad, uh, the standard notepad if you want to. However, I find this gives a little bit more colour, and that colour gives a little bit more information. Also, for the purposes of this video, I can zoom in a little bit more, and that's easier for you to see. So, you can get Notepad++ and the SQF extension from Armaholic, and I'll link this in the description of the video, as per usual. It's created by Nicholas, Gosmir Solid, and Sanjo. And here it shows you how to install it. And I'd really, really recommend you spend a minute or so going through all this and learning how to install it. It's going to make your life a lot easier. You don't have to use it, as I said. You can continue using standard Notepad. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is pause the video and I'm going to prepare a bit of script. And when you rejoin me, I am going to talk you through that script and I'm going to show you where to get the information. It, again, it's pretty simple thanks to Biss's commands and it's nothing you can't handle. So, see you in a minute. And welcome back. So, I've spent some time just making a script and what we've done here is we've used the name of the waypoint and then we've given that waypoint a command and then we've added a bit of extra information at the end of each line. So what we've used is waypoint1 set waypoint type and that could be move as it is in this example. It could be search and destroy as it is in our second waypoint. It could be cycle it could be um, transport load, it could be transport unload. There are quite a lot of options and I'm going to link you to the wiki page for it. But what we have here is a list of different options you have for that waypoint. Our second line, set waypoint speed, is pretty self-explanatory. You have three options here. You have full, which is run everywhere. You have normal, which is jog everywhere. And you have limited, which is walk everywhere. Our third line is set waypoint behavior. And that just sets the level of awareness for the squad. So you could have it in safe, for example. And they'd be pretty unaware of the enemy around them. You could have aware or you could have combat mode or stealth mode even. Again, I'm going to link you to the behavior wiki and these are all your options. The last one is the formation and for this first waypoint I've got it set as line and in the second I've got it set as column. So what we're going to do is press save. We're going to go back into the editor. And once again, we're going to hit preview. If I run forward once again to trigger the trigger, I'll speed up time this time. Our group's going to run forward. When they get here, they're going to go into line formation. And then they're going to go into column formation. Our second waypoint type was search and destroy. So once they've reached the second waypoint, they're going to have a look around the area and they're going to choose a few random spots to go to and check if there's any enemy around.
and that's it really. It's up to you really to take the code from the description of this video and have a play around with it. There's one last very useful thing I'm going to show you before we end this video and that's making waypoints cycle. Now if you're familiar with the editor you'll be aware the cycle type of waypoint makes a unit go round and around the circuit of waypoints you have put out until that unit is dead or the mission has ended. So if I'm going to copy this second waypoint and change everywhere it says WP3 sorry WP2 I'm going to change that to WP3 I'm going to change the SAD search and destroy to cycle and I'm going to change the marker we're referencing to my group start and that's where the unit starts off. I'm going to hit save and if I went back into the editor now and press preview our units would go to my group start, they would go to waypoint 1, they'd go to waypoint 2, then they'd go back to my group start again and they would cycle and that means they'd continue doing each of these waypoints again and again and again and that's quite useful for making patrols in areas. So that's all from me in this video, thanks for watching, I'm sorry my voice has been a bit croaky but I've been speaking to a room full of people all day. My next video is going to be about different methods of spawning in units. The video after that is going to be about using these scripts in a multiplayer setting and that's a must watch if you want to avoid any bugs associated with multiplayer scripting. So until next time, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.